kitchen. Um, we have got a lot of Christmas baking to do today and I thought I'd bring you along with me. So I'm gonna start up by making my grandma's cutout cookie recipe. I made this earlier in the month, but we had a cookie exchange and I gave most of all of those cookies away and we've eaten through the rest of them because they are just so delicious. I've started out by having a clean kitchen. I've washed all the surfaces down. I've done all of the dishes. I've got a sink of hot soapy water ready to go so that as I am working, I can rewash the things because I plan to make a lot of batches of dough today. Um, my husband is actually gonna make some cookies too, so I need to get on the ball because he is coming in at three o'clock and it's currently 1.30, so I'm excited, so let's get going. So I'm starting out with the recipe for my grandma's cut out cookies, and this is an absolute staple for our family, and I crave them at Christmas time. Makes such a wonderful um, soft cookie dough. So I'm gonna actually double this recipe and go ahead and get this in the fridge because it does need to chill uh, before you can actually roll out and cut the cookies. So. I'm gonna get this into the fridge and I don't know if I'll actually get to the point of rolling out and cutting. I'm hoping to do that. It does take a while, <laughs> um, but let's go. grandma's dough done I actually just like to make um, I've combined it all before into my KitchenAid mixer and I don't think that that's a very good plan um, my mixer is one of the smaller sizes and it's not built to have like a ton of dough in it it doesn't really have the horsepower or the room and I just find it becomes a better quality when you do it in two different batches so I'm gonna throw this one into the fridge and get on to the next cookie so a bit of a crisis, we are down to four eggs. Um, my husband is out and about, so he said he would stop and get some. I thought we had way more than this, but apparently not. And sadly, we've been to Costco a few times in the past week and we did not get eggs because we just thought there was more. So this is the next recipe I'm making. It's pita peanut butter blossoms and it's the cookie that is like a peanut butter cookie and it has the Hershey Kiss in it. So one year I wanted to make these, um, but I didn't have the recipe for them. And Stacy Myers from the blog Humorous Homemaking, she ended up um, actually sending out an email about them like that day that I was looking for a recipe. So I opted to make hers and they are so delicious. So um, highly recommend this recipe. So in my mixer I've got the butter and I've got the peanut butter. We are just using natural peanut butter. So it's likely not going to be as sweet, which is a-okay. Um, Christmas has lots of sweetness as it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all of this incorporated. <music>
a bit disappointed with the way the peanut butter blossom cookies came out. I make them every year and they never turn out so cracky as they did this year. And I'm wondering if it's because I use natural peanut butter. It's just peanuts and normally I use the regular stuff. So I don't know. They smell delicious, but they don't look that great. Let me show you. Okay. So here's how they came out. They're like super cracked. Um, I did go ahead and try and kind of squish them together. Um, and then I pushed some of the Hershey Kisses down in because they weren't sinking in like normal. So I've got another batch in the oven and we'll, I'm just going to keep an eye on it and see how it goes. But at least they'll taste good. I'm making the Jesus cookies. You are? Yeah. It's going to taste good. Put your foot in there! Yeah. Well, why do you rinse it off? Right after. I could lick it okay. and then... No, this has eggs in it now. You don't Ew! Want well, I still eat that. I eat it some mostly. You yeah. want to go Instagram live? Yeah! No! Yeah! Oh, no, I'm mama, too mama. shy. Mama! for you. You gotta do it. You gotta do it when we make messes. Okay, so here's where we're at with cookie day. It's going on about 4.30. We have got almost all the peanut butter cookies done that my husband wanted to do. That was really fun. We have not baked as a family, I think, ever. So that was so fun. Um, the last batch is in the oven. He just ran to the grocery store to pick up something for dinner. We are going to have Sloppy Joes. Um, I just pulled some uh, mix out of the freezer. Um, had already been made and you know went in the freezer <laughs> um so he went anyways to go get a side for that and my father-in-law has come to pick up Aubrey and they are going Christmas shopping for um kind of one of the angel tree children uh at our church you know you get like the tag and um you buy a gift for someone who needs it so she's going to help him with that and I think afterwards like we'll run into town and pick her up and go visit with my in-laws for a few moments later this evening. I am going to make my chocolate cookie dough, um, chocolate cookie recipe. So initially this was supposed to be like, what was it? A peppermint chocolate cookie. <laughs> and I did not have the Andes mints chopped up that I thought I did. Andes mints, you can get them in Canada, but you have to get them at the bulk food store and we don't have one here in town. You have to go like 25 minutes away to get them. Um, you could also use something like uh, the Ghirardelli peppermint bark or something like that, but I just didn't have any of that. So plan B, I've switched it. I'm going to do a chocolate cookie, but use candy cane pieces in it and chocolate chips and I found a different recipe so I'm just going to go ahead and make that. So that will be the last cookie for the evening. I'm going to hold off on cutting anything out simply because we are going to go into town tonight so no sense in pulling all that out but it's been a really productive day.